Oh, uh, testing, testing. I think it'll work. Hello, Karen. It's, uh, I believe it's 1.30 in the morning. I think it's the morning of the 9th, November 9th. We're in model, La Madalena right now. Everybody right now just calls it Madalena. It's, I think if you can get yourself a world atlas, it's uh, located, as you look at Sardinia, right off the boot of Italy, there's an island called Sardinia. Well, if you get a real close, close-up picture right there at the top of uh, Sardinia, on the top right-hand part of it, way up in a the corner there, there's a bunch of little islands. Well, uh, the main thing around here is La Maddalena, the town and the island. We're on a little island just a little bit off, about a five-minute boat ride from the town called San Stefano. I don't think that'll be on your map, but that's where we are. That's where we're going to be for the next two weeks, I think. we got about two weeks here for an upkeep period where we try to replace everything that's busted down and fix things we think are going to bust. In general, just prepare the ship before we go back out again. Well, it was so beautiful to get everything of yours. All the letters and everything. And the tape. It's a real drag, though. I mean, not being able to, uh, you know, write back every day. You know, be able to get a letter every day. And then reply that evening. But in a way, it's, it makes you appreciate uh, the mail a heck of a lot better. We were out for 42 days this time. 42 days straight underwater. That's a long time, I found out. I mean, this is my first real naval patrol since I've been in the Navy, and I've been in now for three years. By the way, I went over three October 6th. It's all downhill from now on. That was my halfway point. Mail's a lot, appreciated a lot more when you get it all in one great big bundle. You know, you find out all the news all at once. And uh, it's like a kid walking into a candy store. I mean, it's just the lights all around him. And I got your picture. That was really beautiful. Uh, that's something like what I wanted, something big, something, you know, all the other pictures are real nice, especially that one with you on the uh, telephone. I have that one hanging up in my rack. It hangs right above me, so when I lay down and look up, there you are, talking to me. I just plug in your tape, and you're on the phone talking to me right there in front of me. It's really neat. Uh, boy, yeah, there's a lot to plan, isn't there? I've been going over your letters and going over in my mind all the things that have got to be done before people get married and boy there's a there's a stack I keep I've been asking guys around the boat here that are married you know what all the guys got to do for a wedding um, this is my really this is my first time of getting married so I don't know much about it so I've just been asking people I know you must be going through a hectic stage and your mother is probably just driving herself batty trying to get everything started, like you say. I'll tell you though, Karen, uh, I want a December wedding and I know you want one. Well hell, I'd like a, I'd like a wedding tomorrow. A wedding tomorrow and a discharge tomorrow too, so you and I could start our lives without dear old Uncle Sugar interfering at all. But he's going to be here for a while, three more years, two years, 11 months, rather. Two years, 11 months, and 28 days, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, about a December wedding, I, it doesn't look good for a December wedding right now because we're not due back in the States till about the 23rd of December. By the way, I'm not going to get that November school. You probably would have heard from me by now if I was. But uh, they're going to keep me here because we're short on qualified watchstanders. And I'm, uh, 
one of the newly qualified guys that they want to have for the ORS. What's an ORS? Ah, O R S E. Operational Reactor Safety Examination. This is where they have a bunch of captains and lieutenant commanders and commanders come aboard and they test all the nukes, all their knowledge. And they run drills on them and give them examinations and things. And if they pass it, everything's hunky dory. Hi me Rick over, lets them go. But if they don't pass it, they've got to take a re -ors, in which case they've got to uh, uh, go back out on a training program for about a week, two weeks, maybe a month. And then they take another examination, which is even more extensive. So everybody's really getting prepped up to pass it the first time out. And we don't know when we're going to have it either. It's either going to be before we leave Mediterranean, or it'll be just before, just as we come into New London. We'll come into sight of New London. The tug will come out, drop off the horse board, and then we'll go back out to sea for three days. It only takes three days. But then if we pass it, we all come back in, and we're supposed to go on holiday routine, which will be the 24th of December, which is really cutting things tight. And uh, we're going to leave Saint Stefano here, San Stefano, or La Maddalena. We're going to leave here about the uh, 27th of November. And we won't be anywhere where we can t contact anybody between the 27th of November and the 24th of December. So I'm going to have to give you all the information and stuff that you need while I'm here in La Maddalena. But I'm pretty sure a December wedding won't be able to make it. We won't be able to. For one, it'll be the 24th when I get in. For two, they want to go four-section duty when we hit uh, New London so that everybody can take leave and stuff and have a minimum of duty in our stand-down time. So this entails they want a lot of qualified watchstanders to stand watches. Everybody, everybody's got to be qualified so we can have four-section duty. Uh, so I've got to really get hot on some qualification. Uh, right now, my only qualify there's three things I have to qualify right now, and then I'm all right. Basic engineering quals, which is knowing all about the reactor plant. It's the same thing I went through at a prototype. And the other one's qualifying my senior watch station, EPCP. And the other one's my ship's quals for my dolphins, SS. Well, i got to get those out of the way. If I can get those out of the way before I hit New London, I'll uh, be in pretty good shape to ask for leave come January or March. February, they don't think it's pretty good to get leave because we're going to be going into the yards for a quick little period for some repairs on the reactor plant. Uh, so the chief said it would be better if I didn't ask for leave during February. He said January and March would be the best times. Now, I was figuring that you'd probably want some time to get everything straightened up out there. And I know I need some time out here. i got to get the uh, car fixed up. I've got some things to do on the car if it's going to do a cross-country trip, you know, out to Idaho and California and then Idaho again and back to New London, especially with a trailer. <laughs> a U-Haul trailer. Well, I've never... This is going to be a first for me, hauling a trailer that carries mine and my wife's stuff. It's, it's weird, you know, well, not weird, it's beautiful, but it's, like you say, a little tingly and twerky, thinking about, well, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Leonard Eaton, Mr. and Mrs. Eaton, that's neat, I mean, it's, like when you say you look in a mirror and see Mrs. Eaton, well, I've, every time I've looked in a mirror since I was a kid, I've seen Tony Eaton, but now when I look in a mirror, I say, Where's Mrs. Eaton? Well, she's supposed to be here with me. That's the way I've been thinking too. Like, you know, when can I when can I see you? When can you be here? And that's one of the big things I'm looking forward to. That is what I'm looking forward to, Karen. To share my love with you. have us be as one. 
that's the best way to do it. When I'm out here at sea, it's it's hard to think about it because you know you can't surface or anything, and you can't go anywhere. So you try not to think about things like that. And when you do, man, boy, you get real down. It's, it's not good for a guy to think about it when he's out. You know, there's times when I'm sitting there and smiling and thinking about how good it is. Then I think about how horrible it is because here's a person that I love so much, yet I can't be with. And that's what really makes it terrible. And that's what's going to make it terrible for you, too. These are some things I've been thinking about. Uh, you know, all, all we've had together has been our time in Idaho and that few days in Connecticut, but I tell you, we're going to be married, you know, for the rest of our, for the rest of eternity, and these things that we're going to have to endure while I'm in the Navy are really going to be hard, because I want you to think about it again. I told you once before at the fence there in Idaho that I'd be on long trips and stuff, and you just turned around and smiled and said you'd knit a lot of scarves. Well, there's a lot of wives that are not knitting scarves right now because they're fed up with what the Navy has fed them and their husbands. And a lot of marriages have gone on the rocks because of it. If there's one thing I want us both to know is that Uncle Sugar's got me for three more years. Two years, I'd rather, and some odd months. And he owns me, literally. And when he says I go, I go. Unfortunately, I, as a single John, it's really not that big of a hassle for me. You know, I can split and leave and not worry about it. Now I have us to consider. And I, and it, that's what makes a beautiful thing so horrible. All the absence from each other. But then in a way, that's beautiful too, because, well, it's not beautiful itself, but at the end, when you come in from the run, there you are, and there I am, and there we both are. Does that sound mixed up? Well, anyway, we enjoy each other. It's like a thirsty man coming in off a desert and coming into a nice, tall, cool glass of ice water, relishing, and relishing something that he's been desiring for months on end. And there it is, the warm love of this woman. This is what I know I have to look forward to. It's something I truly want. But I just have to let you know again, make sure you realize what's going to happen. Because like there'll be a lot of times we'll want to do things together. You know, it's not every day we're going to be able to wake up together and do things and be with each other. There's going to be days, duty days, when I'll have to work all night and I'll come back and there you are just rising fresh and early, wanting to go out and maybe do shopping or go outside and plant up this new tree we brought, or plant a shrub or maybe finish building the fence or something. I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm so bone tired. And that's probably going to play on you and it'll play on me because I probably wouldn't feel like I'm fulfilling, you know, the, our obligation to each other. And I want you to know this, that it's going to be hard for the first three years. I just had to let you know that because, I don't know, just from the sound of your letters and tapes, it seems like you were drawing, I don't know, just a little bit too much on those four days we had, which were the most, four most beautiful days of my life. Yet I know it's not always going to be like that. I just had to let you know one more time. I want you to make sure you know. Heck, you can ask your dad about that again. I'm glad you've been talking to him, by the way. But you can ask him about what it's like in the service, as far as, and I know you know, you've got brothers. Their wives will tell you.
I just had to get that off my chest because I've been worrying about it. I just wanted to make sure. I'm a worry ward, ain't I? <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm playing on batteries too right now, so I hope this doesn't uh, record wrong. In fact, it shouldn't though because they're fairly fresh batteries. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, the lives and the, the lives and doings of the Eaton family. Da 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 da. Boom. Before I continue, though, I want to tell you something. I love you, Karen. I love you so much at times that it hurts. It hurts because I know I'm not there with you. It really does. Yet I know as you do that this hurt will all be assaged once I have you as my wife. 